Chapter 2, let's go! We are really excited to have you join us here again. In the last chapter, you downloaded all the softwares and assets necessary for our project. The process of installing and unpacking, opening and using the assets is very straightforward, but we prepared a recording to show you the process and you can follow one by one in the codes down below. First, Blender 3D. Click twice in the installation file and when the software is unpacked, save the Blender software inside your applications folder. In the Windows version, the process is very similar. You're gonna click twice to open the installation file and then you can find in your startup bar the Blender icon so you can access the software. The same steps apply for the FSPY software for Windows or Mac. For the assets, just unpack the zip file and save the goodies inside of your Magic Plan Blender series main folder. Now that you have everything installed and ready to go, we are going to start understanding the basic interface elements in the Blender 3D software. Let's go! Let's start right with an important tip. Would be ideal if you have access to a 3-button mouse and a keyboard with an numpad. If you don't have that type of hardware, don't worry, we can change some parameters in the Blender interface and you will be fine. Now it's time to open Blender and you will be welcomed with some options in the splash screen. For now we are not going to change anything. Just click anywhere in your screen and you should see the same interface as mine. I know that in the first moment Blender interface can be intimidating, but don't worry, we are going to use just the necessary commands. And they aren't that many, you will get used to them very quickly. The outliner is a list of all objects on your scene, located in the top right side corner. In this default scene you will see listed a cube, a light and a camera. 
On the top left side we have a toolbar. Those are the tools used to manipulate different elements in our project. One important shortcut that you will see me using constantly is the command plus Z or control plus Z depending on if you are in a Mac or in a PC. This is the shortcut to redo an action and if you use command plus shift plus Z or control shift Z you can go back and forward. We are going to use the move tool to position our elements in the 3D space. You can see that when I select the tool with left side click in my mouse and then I select the cube for instance, also with left side click, we are presented with three arrows, blue for up and down, green for front and back and red for side to side. We can also rotate elements using the rotate tool and the same thought process is applied here. Rotating in the blue or Z axis, green or Y axis or red the X axis. Changing the scale of an object is a job for the scale tool. In a similar fashion, we can scale in the blue or Z axis, green or Y axis, or red X axis. We are almost finished with the basic controls. Now we are going to learn how to navigate inside the scene. Using the middle mouse button, clicking and holding, and then moving your mouse, you should be able to translate or move around inside your scene. Still using the middle mouse button and scrolling, you can zoom in and out in the 3D space. And finally, yet using your middle mouse button and holding the shift key on your keyboard, you can move side to side in your view. Even if you don't have a mouse, you can do all the functions that I described using just the gizmos in the top right side corner of your screen. If you are using, for instance, a trackpad on your laptop, there is no problem. In the next chapter, we will learn how to use the FSpy software in combination with the Blender 3D. We hope you like the video. Comment if you have any questions or video requests. We love to hear your opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I see you guys next time. Bye bye.